All right, welcome back. Uh, let's cover this one really quickly. Uh, maybe we can, maybe we go last more. Do me a favor, hit the like button. Let's bring everybody into the room. It's Tuesday. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's Tuesday, but we're here. Um. All right. Uh. Unlikely heroes, side chicks, or prostrate or pros or prostrate prostate. Jesus Christ. Prostate cancer or prostate issues or cardiovascular issues for men. Which one would you go with? Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I just want to know what you guys' opinions are on this, because uh, this conversation is. Uh, uh. Anyway, uh, let me play this uh, really quickly. Let's see. In physiology, if you don't use it, you lose it. Okay. The only form of exercise your prostate gland gets is doing erection, and that erection comes with sexual activity. Okay. So the study is abundantly clear that a man in healthy shape should be able to have sexual interaction 21 times a month. 21 times a month to avoid prostate issues, prostate cancer, or hey, cardiovascular yeah. issues. If you don't exercise the gland, it swells on you. It mm. becomes enlarged. Mm. When it becomes enlarged, that is a precursor to cancer. Mm. So yes, you have a beautiful wife. Do whatever it takes to please that woman so she can give it to you 21 times a month. Yeah, but that's if she pleases you because you have to be in the right state of mind, isn't it? Yeah, but don't quote me to your wife, Dr. Ken. So if she doesn't please you, I advocate to my patients that you can have a side chick. Your side chick could be on contract, but you just know that you need to do your 21 times to avoid prostate cancer. <laughs> what you are saying is to optimize. To optimize. If you can't get it at home, you should find yes. a way to yes. outsource that, uh, that, uh, that, that, that person yes. and let it be optimized. Yes, yes. Well, you're talking about 21 times. 21 I mean, times. a lot of people will say it's impossible in our contest. A man has not eaten properly in Nigeria. How can he find his strength for 21 times? A man has to be polygamous to, to be able to achieve that level of frequency. And physiologically, men, our DNA shows that men are actually known to be polygamous. We are wired to be polygamous. Yep. This is The Discourse with Dr. Ken. The All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I don't know. You guys watched the whole thing? I hope you did, right? Suggesting side chicks or 21, sex 21 times a month, all right? Um, in order to prevent prostate cancer. You know, um, wait now. Let's finish the conversation. Deal of attention here. This is Suru, Suru, Suru. Our source quickus. Mm -hmm. Our source in what an excuse for sexual immorality. I beg in the other mad people everywhere. <laughs> What's Onyoshi? What's in the other? What's in the What is that? Sounds like the same thing. Anyway, um, let me go over that again really quickly. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so this is the guy I was talking about last time. Uh, this guy right here. I was trying to remember his name, but I'm not even sure I know how to pronounce his name. He releases a lot of uh, stuff online. He, I think he does seminars, get married this year, something like that. Uh, this guy right here, um, Skooky Pichon, Skooky, this one, this one right here, Skooky Pichon, he has about 400,000 followers, Nigerian relationship coach, some, some like that. Not the guy that's talking, but the guy that's, uh, that posted this, uh, this guy right here yeah this guy right here all right so he does a lot of posts around relationship and stuff but anyway he's the one that posted it just in case you see me pull this up ever again uh skooky pichon skooky pichon something like that indioshi is thieves oh indioshi is thieves oh okay 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 i get it i get it all right so anyone having career 21 times a month no get job that's pretty much every day so you're saying you don't really um you're basically saying that this professional subject matter expert is wrong is that what you're saying right now you're saying that this person is wrong let me play it again except in physiology if you don't use it you he said physiology if you don't use it he's on a radio station classic 97.3 I don't know where that's at. I don't know what city that is. Lose it. Okay. The only if you don't use it, just in life in general, if you don't use it, you lose it. Okay. That's uh, that's generally true across the board. Uh, but that's also a statement that can be misnyad into different. But let's just go with what he's saying for a second. 
of exercise your prostate gland gets is during erection. And the only form of exercise your prostate gland gets is during erection. All right. So men also get erection with or without sex. So he's talking about erection. All right. Uh, now, how did we get to the other side of things? Is let's see. That erection comes with sexual activity. <laughs> no, erection doesn't always only come with sexual activity. Erection also comes random willy-nilly just because you're happy to wake up any given day. It just happens. All right. Uh, it could be a good time to have sex, but uh, oftentimes that's not the case because people have a life, you know, um, and they have to get to their livelihood, right? So uh, if you have uh, certain types of luxury, maybe you can, but even at that, you know. So he's talking about erection, but now he's kind of mix erection together with sexual activity. He's literally making uh, erection and sexual activity synonymous, and that's not true. You know, they, they are related, but they're not synonymous. So the study is abundantly clear that a man in healthy... Sh and then he went on <laughs> to declare that the studies is abundantly clear clear i get the cruise i get it i really want to catch cruise too but um, shape should be able to have sexual interaction 21 times a month okay so this some it must be another study that has nothing to do with making erection and sexual activities synonymous but maybe he's talking about another studies now that says that men must have you know uh men must have uh, sexual activity is this sexual activity at least 21 times a month i wonder let's keep playing one times a month to avoid prostate issues prostate cancer or cardiovascular issues if you don't exercise the gland it swells on you it becomes enlarged mm -hmm. when it becomes enlarged that is a precursor to cancer mm -hmm. so yes you have a beautiful wife do whatever it takes to please that woman so she can give it to you 21 times a month yeah but that's if she pleases you because you have to be in the right state of mind isn't it yeah but don't quote me to your wife dr ken so if she doesn't please you i advocate to my patients that you can have a side chick your side chick could be on contract but you just know that you need to do your 21 times to avoid prostate cancer but what you are saying is to optimize to optimize if you can't get it at home you should find yes. a way to outsource if you can't that, get uh, it that, outsource that, that, that person yes. and let it be optimized mm. yes. well, you're talking about 21 times 21 i mean a lot of people will say it's impossible in our contest a man has not eaten properly in nigeria how can he find his trend for 21 times the man has to be polygamous mm -hmm. to, to be able to achieve that level of frequency and physiologically men our dna shows that men are actually known to be polygamous we are wired to be polygamous yep this is the discourse right. with doc is this is discourse with dr ken the discourse with Dr. Ken. Dr. Ken's uh, reputation, credibility. I'm not sure where that's going to end up today. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, All right. So, again, I I, 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 I caught the cruise. I get it. Um, so, Skooky Pichon said, Osband, send this video to your wives. And then he said, read caption below. We already sent it before. <laughs> Because I did send it to my wife, of course. On a more serious note, this is not the first time we are hearing it from medical practitioners that men need to exercise their prostate gland as often as possible. All right. Now, the question is how? how All right. So it goes on. Uh, it is alarming the number of good husbands that are in sexless marriages. Okay. I don't know how. How did you get to sexless marriage again? We went so fast, all the way from exercising prostate to sexless marriages. Hmm, interesting. Let's keep going. That are in sexless marriage, it is alarming. That is the truth. But simply because about 15 to 20, 25 percent of people are in sexless marriages. Okay, of marriages, they are basically sexless. 15 to 25, 20, 25, something like that. It's a wide range, but something about that. You know, that's a lot of people, right? Uh, simply because the, the wife is never in the mood as she's never happy. The reason for her constant unhappiness could be a result of the husband always upsetting her, knowingly and unknowingly. And sometimes she could be a large contributor to her own unhappiness through overthinking and unnecessarily comparing her life with her friends. Okay, that's great. I saw him do a video on that. I'll see if I can play that video in a second. Just to shine some light on him because I might revisit some of his videos. I mostly agree with uh, Skooky Pichon. I'm not sure if he's married even self, you know. 
but it doesn't matter as long as it's saying something that makes sense anyway sex in a marriage is a big deal sex in a marriage is a big deal okay uh that's loud i guess a man expresses a thousand emotions through sex if the world is beating him up sex with his wife can be the only thing that validates his masculinity and gives him the resilience to go out and fight again but then wives are not robots okay there you go uh sex is deeply spiritual for the woman even more spiritual than physical a woman climaxes in her mind long before she shivers in her body a husband can intensely foreplay his wife throughout the day by saying the right words and giving her enough attention. By the time he touches her at night, she's a, she'll explode under his penetration. For more insight, read up 1 Corinthians 7 1. Okay, so this video came from Classic FM. All right, great, nice. Uh, Skooky Pushon. But let me see uh, the other video where he was talking about um woman overthinking which i think it made some good points there let me see let me see if i can find that video when your man says he can't talk your woman said ignore there are so many potential i'm not sure if it's too far into the to the past he puts out a lot of video i thought it was more recently she man why am i where is she looking on your down on your partner value i can't see it i can't find it but i know he did a video not too long ago about that Let's see. Uh, why you and your partner don't communicate well? Why you need to reduce your male friends? Can we be friends with benefits? How to be a good father to your kids? Call your partner and apologize for us. Will I ever find love again? It's being non challenged. When men say they, they want and what they really want, how to disagree with your husband? Okay, so I can't really find a video. My, maybe it has a, a different. Um, let me just play i'll just play one of his videos just to shout him out a little bit let's see it's very hard to slot shame okay not this one let's the reason why a man must lead and why a woman should be submissive is not really because one should act lesser than the other there's no lesser argument here it has a lot to do with the polarity between both of you it keeps you attracted to each other as a woman you love it when your man leads <laughs> and as a man you become a better version of yourself when you lead the truth is for a man your true happiness is hidden behind the self-sacrifice that you make for your wife and your kids really to a large extent your fulfillment lies behind that for a woman you want your man to be a better version of you you want your man to be taller than you to be richer than you to take charge as a man you also want to take charge but there's a difference between taking charge and being controlling there are things your man can see that you cannot see the fact that you take charge does not mean you don't listen to her. In electric science, we are taught zinc and copper. They make both the positive and negative ends of the battery. Yeah, this is one the video, is actually. One is dominant. That's, That's why cool. energy flows. If it's zinc and zinc, the electrolyte field will be in equilibrium. There will be no energy. That's what happens when both people in a marriage are masculine or when both people are feminine. You wish to be submissive because it makes you attracted to your man. That's why we see this meme online where they say, little miss, I can do it myself. As met Mr. Sit down, I, I'll handle this. You have an instinct as a guy that makes you want to lead. Your true fulfillment as a man lies behind the sacrifices that you make for your wife and your kids. Ah! All right, so that is this video. He promotes some would you like to get married in 2024 thingy, but anyway, yeah. Uh, P Pichon, okay, so his name is Pichon, okay, all right, uh, noted. But anyway, let's go back to the comments, um, here. Um, let's see what they said. All I said is another angle. My wife, she's the one who runs Lola and Lola, just in case you're wondering. Uh, she said Lobaton. <laughs> <laughs> all right um somebody said raw undiluted reality our forefathers knew a lot of these things that's why they fully supported polygamy and other stuff for men to function fully now here's the problem with some of those things that's you know they they're engaging we're engaging this conversation because there's obviously some level of truth to it right i get it there is you know that's the reality there's some level of truth to all of this stuff uh, that's why it's hitting a nerve, but then we need to have context at the very minimum We need to uh, Expand out the context and see to what level is it true? You know, we know that a man can impregnate literally uh, Everybody in a circle in a whole year and have all of those kids and even more, you know, so 
And it's true that there's a reason why nature works the way it works. But part of nature is nurture. Part of nature is our social intelligence. Part of nature is um, the idea that we also, we are, we tend to uh, create, um, we're civilized, you know, and civilization is an ongoing thing, right? So at some point you optimize, quote unquote, the same exact word they use. You optimize for the available resources uh, to in order to get the result you're looking for in life. Maybe that is happiness. Maybe it's to keep a home together. Maybe so you don't catch diseases all, all out on the streets, right? Maybe so you don't end up uh, by just by dead at the age of 44 because you caught something, right? We don't know. For whatever reasons, one thing's faster, easier, easier, better, longer, whatever, right? And we come up with ways and strategies to optimize for the results we're looking for uh, considering the resources we have, right? So it is what it is, you know. So in, in other words, you can't have it all regardless of what nature tells you you can have, right? Nature says you can sleep with all of these women in one day. Uh, is that really how it plays out? That's simply not our reality for the most part. So there's more to just calling it is just the nature. There's, there's obviously more to it, right? Because uh, at the end of the day, it's not the reality, you know. And that part we can all agree on that it is not our reality, right? And it's more and more so not our reality. Well, that's the problem. If people are pushing against nature. Well, that's part of humanity. That's part of the human experience. Uh, we also tend to push against nature in in pursuit of happiness. That's what we do, right? Somebody said, I sincerely don't agree with this. It doesn't resonate. This is a man who said this. It doesn't resonate with my medical knowledge on prostate uh, problems. If this is a medical uh, correct, if this is medically correct, why haven't we got, got turns of genuine Catholic Reverend Fathers, people who religion obligates them to totally abstain, abstain from knocking, accounting for the majority of the case of prostate problem. That's a good point. Why are the Reverend Fathers not you know but you know reverend fathers too you know there's question if they truly do it but that's a different conversation i think most of them do it they go through not have knocking right for sure knocking with your wife reduces the chances but not so much to the extent of advising for side chick i come in peace that is a good point that's a good point this person said meaning i have just nine out of ten free days in a month when i get married uh the fact that she called it free days ah, that's ouch. That hurts. It's not supposed to be a free day. It's a, it's a day you're supposed to feel sad because you're not getting some bola. Jesus Christ. You you obviously don't want this stuff from your man. Oh my God. Anyway, to me, that's a jobless man. We have 30, 31 days in a month and you want a man to have sex 21 times. That's rubbish. I agree. Uh, yeah, that's just weird. Uh, 21 times a month isn't much now. Nah. I've been not only me. <laughs> Men will find any excuses available. What of a man that is not married? Did you go and get married? Mm -hmm. Or a jerk off or something. I don't know. Is, does jerking off count? I think saying that 21 times in a week. Whew. That's Juliet Ibrahim, the actress. <laughs> so she doesn't mind 21 times in a month, I guess. Shout out to Juliet Ibrahim. Uh, she, gave, she gave us a drop once upon a time. Uh, so I have to be available in these 21 days in a month. So after my period, I have to make myself available. Oh, it's interesting. 21 plus another three, four days of, of that activity. That's the whole month, essentially. Anyway, God, I beg, make my husband no see this one. Wahala. Uh, somebody had told you. Anyway. <sighs> Let me come to, pardon my manners. Let me come to the chat a little bit. Okay, not much is going on in the chat. Shout out to all 20 of you watching this live. Hit that like button. Uh, all 22 of you, I meant to say. Okay, hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Okay. Uh, being polygamous is not synonymous with multiple sexual partners. Polygamy is not your effing mate. That's a whole different uh, conversation, right? Some of them knock behind closed doors. Yes, some, right? Mm-hmm. Anyway, so listen uh these people let me look at this a little bit closer all right so the concept in hold on one second physiology if all you right, don't so use it you lose it it looks like daddy freeze has the something to say in 
Daddy Freeze, uh, let me see if he says something As about it. As your prostate gland gets, it's doing erection. And that erection comes with sexual activity. Conoro. The study is abundantly clear that a man... What is it though? What's Conoro? Anyway, um, Daddy Freeze says, one of the treatments for prostate cancer is castration. Google it. Do your 21 times a month. If your wife no grease, side chick fit help you. Now this thing, one by Prince Charles though. Two of my uncles have this cancer. <laughs> voila, voila, voila. All right. Um, anyway. In healthy shape, should be able to have sexual interaction 21 times a month. 21! To avoid prostate issues, prostate Sengbo. cancer, or cardiovascular issues. If you don't exercise the gland, it swells on you. It becomes oh, enlarged. Mm. When it becomes I have a precursor to cancer. Oh. So yes, you had a beautiful wife. Do whatever it takes to please that woman so she can give it Do to it, you it, times a month. Yeah, but that's if she pleases you because you have to be in the right state of mind, isn't it? Yeah, With the right state of mind. Wife, Dr. Ken, so if she doesn't please you, I advocate to my patients that you can have a side check. Your side check could be on contract, then you just contract know that you need to do 21 times. So 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 you to optimize. To optimize. To give it the side check. Solomon, one side check. You outsource that that possibility and let it be optimized. Well, you're talking about 21 times. I mean, a lot of people say is impossible in our contest. A man has not eaten properly in Nigeria. How can they find the strength for 21 times? The man has to be polygamous. So to Let me tell you, that level of one of the solutions for prostate cancer is castration. No? You better do your 21 times. Come on, buy a crew. We are wired to be polygamous. Yep. This is the concept in physiology. All right, so what he said is that you better do your 21 times so that they don't cut it for you. Or, you know, uh, I'm just going to say he's catching crews. Um, uh, Freeze encourages, this is Linda Ekeji that posted it. Freeze encourages men to have sex with side chick if their wives won't do so to avoid prostate cancer. Uh, 21 times a month. Why are Catholic priests not dying of prostate cancer? That's the question. Uh, my dad had three wives, two lived with him, and the other visits regularly, so that means he has always, he was always busy with this woman as a matter of fact. They take turns. But what still happens is that he had is that he had still had one of his balls removed as a result of prostate cancer. Jesus. <laughs> Did he ever lack sex? No. And I'm very sure he had with it. Now, all of this can be said to be uh, anecdotal examples, right? But also, on the other side of things, there's no grand number anywhere that says all the fathers, like they said, like they tend to die off of this, you know. Uh, also, reality is just far from what they're suggesting. Still yet, his balls were removed. This person is talking about their own father. There are men who are married to one wife and faithful to their wives and don't even have sex 21 times as measured by this man. And they are very healthy even in their 70s. My uncle is one of them. How do you know this? This is this on, on personal examples. Men who are agreeing to this are looking for ways to justify their cheating habit. If you like, have sex 21 times or more. If you don't live a healthy lifestyle and do a regular health check, you are on your own. Somebody said, you people always emphasize having adequate sex to avoid prostate cancer, but you leave the most important point out. Doing the PSA test as a man. Men generally don't even do the uh, test as often as they should. Okay. That's what they should be encouraging. Because, you know, if you can catch it early, the better. The earlier, the better. That's more so of what we should be encouraging, okay? Other preventive measures, preven preventive measures including eating healthy, avoid smoking and alcohol, exercise, and increase your vitamin D intake. Good luck. All right. All right. So, normally, one woman is not enough for a healthy man. <laughs> the black boy said that. The cure is soa chop. Cut the skin of the tree. Huh? Jesus Christ. Nobody should guilt trip anybody. The female reproductive cycle comes once a month and for a man, it's every day. A woman's egg is matched by the man's 120 million sperm cells. 120 million sperm cells a day every day as opposed to one egg a month if, if all cells are visible. It would take 30 men to, to give the whole woman in the world belly. This points to one fact, a man is by nature polygamous. Uh, you can call a man by nature polygamous all you want. It's not. It's probably not your reality because this is why you are shouting at the top of your lungs that is polygamy, polygamy. It's clearly not what you are capable of, you know, because nobody is stopping anybody from doing it. 
it's just your reality that's stopping you from doing it <laughs> monogamy and fidelity are unnatural but yet that's what's naturally the reality of a lot of people even people that cheat are serial cheaters they're not necessarily like that has nothing to do with polygamy you know but anyway he's only preaching the gospel we're just gonna leave it at that but anyway i pulled up some stuff here um the when i asked the powers that be the digital powers that be as you say it says no that statement is not true okay the question i asked is to avoid prostate issues men must have sex 21 times a month is this true it says no okay the almighty google and their gods and their ai came up with some stuff okay before i get into that let me say hold on one second let me let me see if i'm missing anything okay i'll come back to that i'll come that i'll come back to you guys and finish the segment with it it says no that statement is not true there is not scientific evidence to support the claim that having sex 21 times a month prevents prostate issues in fact there is no guarantee way to completely avoid prostate problems however maintaining a healthy lifestyle can minimize the risk of de developing them Here's what we know, prostate health and, se and sexual activity. While some studies have suggested a possible link between frequent ejaculation and a lower risk of prostate issues, this research is ongoing and the exact effect remains unclear. But, you know, your pastors will tell you don't ejaculate unless you put it inside of a woman. So, we don't, you know, you see the issues because they don't educate themselves. They would rather just hold on to the exodus ideology right now to teach you what can actually help you you know anyway another conversation for another day you know the uh the the obsessed religious people they generally kick against masturbation okay and they always find a way to bring in porn into it right uh they you know they always find a way to you know to mix those two things together uh, because they'll rather just feel safer to get to heaven than actually to have a healthy lifestyle here yeah, it is a competition. Let's continue. Other factors like age, genetics, and overall health play a much more significant role in prostate health. Age, genetics, and overall health. You know, like checking, like doing the necessary test and screening once you hit a certain age, right? Even me, I'm guilty, but at least I'm aware, right? Like right now, I'm due to make an appointment with my doctor, right? It's at the back of my mind. Okay, in fact, I will be doing it tonight. Okay. It's important to note that while some medications for prostate issues can affect sexual function, having a healthy sex life doesn't prevent prostate problems in itself. Maintaining healthy prostate. Healthy lifestyle choices like a balanced diet, regular exercise, and maintaining a healthy weight can contribute to overall prostate health. Okay. Regular screenings and checkups with a doctor are crucial for early detection and treatment of any potential prostate issues. It's important to avoid misinformation and consult reliable sources. Even this thing I'm reading is not reliable sources. Go to your doctor. Okay. Don't rely on unsubstantiated claims, excuse me, found online or through word of mouth. Always trust information from credible sources like medical professionals, reputable health organizations, and peer-reviewed scientific studies. If you have any questions about your prostate health, it's best to consult your doctor for personalized advice. I hope that helps. Um, Alright, this man like quickly called Solomon Didi and well... <laughs> uh golden girl this is golden girl shout out to you this is not entirely true i had a friend in uni days she was the 22nd child out of 27 he had five wives he still had his prostate cancer he was sure getting enough of the sugar and still had yep 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 so i mean oh, this is another good section this is a good segment here i hope it was educational enough to help some people to you know because as much as they like to catch crews we have to push push against us hey 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 it's nice nice cute imagine 21 sex everywhere honestly most healthy men don't care for 21 times a month they don't they don't have time for that okay they love sex that's not the question okay 
but even if you're doing it every other day that is still 14 15 21 like come on man like come on stop the cat okay uh people that are usually advocating and pushing for this is either they're catching crews they're being sarcastic which is where i think that the freeze falls in or they, they you know these are people with no experience whatsoever to speak to what they're talking about stop the cat <laughs> anyway with that being said do me a favor hit that like button share subscribe and turn up your notifications we've got a few more to cover we are gonna end on time today i'll be back in about 20 seconds